Um, how hilarious was that? So, hold on. I do not like this lighting. Since the last time I went live this morning, my light has changed. Let's see. Maybe I'll just turn it off altogether. It still looks kind of weird. I look a little bit like a zombie. I got that zombie look going. Hang on. Mm-mm. Nope. 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 Okay. Well, the good news is we're not going to be looking at me for very long. So, hi. Hello. Thank you for joining me. Uh, I had fun with that little intro. I do love Bollywood. Like, I love it so much. I never know what they're saying. I'll watch it even if there's no subtitles because I just, I just love all the singing and the dancing. What we're going to do right now is I am recording my Alexa flash briefing. And in case you don't know what an Alexa flash briefing is, um, it's it's a news update basically that happens on your um, uh, on your Echo device, your Amazon Alexa, and you say Alexa, play my flash briefings, and then any flash briefings that you're subscribed to, you'll you'll hear. And I'm always saying to people like, it doesn't matter what your business is, B two B, B two C. This is an incredible way to reach a whole new audience, and it doesn't take a ton of effort. Uh, and and it's you can't be longer than 10 minutes, so that's, in my opinion, a godsend. It's different than a podcast in that way. It's voice activated, obviously. Alexa, play my flash briefing. And, and then they get to hear you while the people are doing other things. It's those little in-between moments in our day that we're able to reach a whole new audience. And, um, and so you're going to hear me record this briefing, which is uh, right now the, the structure of my front row entrepreneur flash briefing, which I hope you will subscribe to, um, is all um, uh, social media updates, like the news and social media. So, so that's what we're going to do. Hopefully I'll get it all in one tank. If not, you'll see me mess up and do it again. And I'm going to share my screen with you and you're going to see the tool that I use to both record it and the tool that I use, the platform that I use to store, store, house the flash briefing. It's sort of the Libsyn, if you're familiar with podcasting, it's the Libsyn of flash briefings. So let me share my screen and we're going to do this, okay? Actually, hold up one second. And um, you don't need, you don't have to use a software like what I'm going to show you, you could actually record your, you could record your flash briefing on your phone, really. Um, but I just happen to love this little app and you'll see why. So I'm going to share my screen now. All right, here we are. This is called Zencaster. And uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to click uh, start recording. Then I'm going to click the intro outro and it comes with this pre, like this auto-loaded, um, default sort of funky intro music, and it, I like it. Uh, so I just left it, and at some point I might change it out with something more custom, uh, but it works, and I think people are starting to sort of recognize it, my regular my regular listeners, okay? Um, and then when I'm done, I'll talk you through the next steps. Uh, you can't, like I said, an, um, an Alexa briefing can't be longer than 10 minutes, 
Uh, and I've never gone over six, six and a half minutes, but there were so many social media updates this week that, um, and I didn't time this out when I read through it uh, before. So we'll see. I don't, I don't know exactly how long it's going to take. It definitely won't take 10 minutes. Okay. So <clears throat> I'm going to clear my throat. I'm going to take a big swig of water. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Here we go. Hey, hey, it's Jen Laner here, and this is your Front Row Entrepreneur Flash Briefing. Another hot week in social media news. Did you catch Mark Zuckerberg in the Senate hearing? I didn't watch all of it, but I got snippets. It really just confirmed to me what I already feel so strongly about, and that is everyone, young and old, need to be digitally literate. Understanding how our digital world functions is as important as reading and math. We don't have to be wizards or coders or tech geeks, but the information isn't going to drop out of the ceiling and hit us in the head. We have to sort of look for good information. I spend at least a portion of every day teaching digital marketing to someone and also uh, a little bit uh, every day learning new information as well. It's really important. Okay, so let's get to those updates. On Monday, Facebook sent you a notification in your newsfeed if Cambridge Analytica had access to your data. Thankfully, I got no such notification and hopefully you didn't either. But if you did, it's going to appear at the top of your newsfeed with a, quote, protecting your information link. And there should be no way that you can miss it. Instagram is preparing to launch a feature called name tags that lets you create a special image that people can scan with the Instagram stories camera to follow you. Basically, it's just like a snap code if you're familiar with snap codes on Snapchat. While this Instagram update doesn't really excite me that much, what I am excited about is the new focus lens they've added. It's, it's like portrait mode on your iPhone that I absolutely love. It allows you to do that cool depth effect. So like your subject is all crisp in the foreground and then the background is kind of blurry. Um, I really love that feature. Twitter has added a new feature called Twitter timestamps for live video. With Twitter timestamps, you can set the starting point for your live video and then tweet it, send it direct message, or share it with your followers. As a business, be sure you take your time setting where you want your live video to begin when you tweet it. This way, you jump your customers to the right moment in the video and you don't waste their time. And if you're thinking, live video, what live video? Go over to Twitter and check out the new Twitter producer. It allows you to grab a live streaming key and connect it to something like OBS or Wirecast. It may even work with Ecamm Live, so I'm going to be experimenting with that this week. Now, this is different than Periscope, which is another way to go live inside of Twitter, of course. And another thing I want to remind you about is Twitter video inside of the Media Studio. It's not new, but it's awesome. And I just reminded my VIPers about this yesterday, so I want to share it with you, too. Basically, uh, you either go to your little profile, your little avatar picture in the top right-hand corner, or uh, and scroll down to Media Studio. If you don't see that, scroll down to Twitter ads, in which case you might need to set up a Twitter ads account and give your credit card number, but they will not charge you. That's just to set up your ads account. Then you go to creatives and you'll see the media studio. And why this is so cool is that you can upload video up to two minutes and 40 seconds, uh, which is uh, about two minutes longer than a video that you can tweet out. Um, not only that, you get a whole bunch more text, like 280 characters in a description. You get a headline. You can add a call to action, like a button to your website or a landing page or a sales page. In addition to the 200 um, extra characters they give you to add to a tweet. And it lives inside your library and Twitter. So you could go there and uh, anytime you want to tweet something, tweet that thing out, whatever it may be, it's already there for you with all the pertinent information. You just need to write your tweet, 
tag the right people, use the right hashtags, and you're good to go. So make sure and check that out. LinkedIn is adding two uh, useful features for uh, people in the B2B space. These include video for sponsored content and company pages. You'll be able to better target your content to the right users thanks to new B2B targeting capabilities. In addition to that new feature, LinkedIn is rolling out organic native video for company pages. I'm sort of meh about company pages. You know, I, 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 I don't know that they're great, but maybe this will make them great. I don't know. Um, if your business has its own company page, so you can now share firsthand video content to give your customers and potential customers a look into your culture, products, news, events, and more. It's definitely worth a try, right? Facebook rolled out more options to run A-B testing or split testing for Facebook ads. They want to continue to help you with your Facebook ads by adding more split testing options. As a business, you should find creative split testing useful. What this means is that when you're using the quick creation flow in Facebook Ad Manager, you'll be able to quickly create A-B split tests for your ads. You can even create split tests for objectives for sales, conversions, application installs, reach, video views, and uh, traffic and lead generation. All right, little Pinterest news this week. We don't get a lot of Pinterest updates. They've added a following tab. With the new following tab on Pinterest, you'll be able to see the latest pins from people you follow in the order they are saved. As a business, if you're in need of some inspiration, now you'll be able to see recommendations in your home feed or look in the following tab to see what others are saving. Facebook Messenger added 360 degree photos and uh, high def quality video. And Snapchat is adding two useful new features, useful if you're already using Snapchat, I guess. These are group video chats and app mentions. Snapchat group video chat will let you start a group video chat with your favorite Snapchatters. So that's your front row entrepreneur flash briefing. If you'd like the, if you'd like this briefing, it would mean the world to me if you would head over to Amazon, search for front row entrepreneur. It should pop right up and leave me a review. It should only take you a couple of seconds. Also, make sure to subscribe to the Front Row Entrepreneur Podcast, where I recently interviewed Gary Vaynerchuk. And if you aren't already a member of my free online classroom, The Front Row, head on over to frontrowclassroom.com. And as always, send me a tweet if you're listening or have a question or a comment. And that's at Genergy. Get it? Like energy with a J, but only one E. So it's at J-E-N-R-G-Y. See you next time. Okay, so folks, that's it, and let's see how long it is. Seven minutes, 35 seconds. That's probably uh, the longest that I've done so far, but there were a lot of updates. Okay, so what's happening now, as you can see off to the right, um, it's already given me an MP3 um, file, and now it's downloading a WAV file. And when this is done, I want to show you uh, what happens. And I don't know if you could hear the intro and outro music, but it's right here. The other thing I like about this is that it gives you an automatic like fade in, fade out. So you don't have to think about it, um, which is very cool. And uh, what looks, looks like we just have a couple more seconds on this download. While that's happening, I want to see um, what you guys are saying. I'm glad that you liked the intro, Susan and Andrea. Thank you. And yeah, you need to sign up for my update. You for sure do. All of you guys need to. Okay. And all right, so that's done. Now watch what happens in just a second. Okay, right at the top, it says automatic post-production. Okay, this is so cool. So I'm going to click um, this. Wait, no, I'm going to click automatic post-production first. And then I'm going to click, I want, I want, We'll do the MP3 file and then let's click on advanced options and you'll notice that I've chosen leveler and noise gates. Now, if I was, if there were two people talking, I could separate two tracks, but we're not going to get into all that. I just want to show you 
how cool it is. All right, so it's going to automatically level stuff out, and now I'm going to click Run Post-Production. So I got a notification up in the right, and it says that um, they'll send me an email as soon as it's it's finished, and it'll be ready to go. So what happened basically is they're going to make it sound all pretty. Um, they'll send me an email. It looks like it's halfway done already. So as soon as that's done, I'm going to show you how I upload it into the place where it lives and just how fast, like just how easy this is. The hardest part about setting up an Alexa flash brief briefing, honestly, is uh, just the um, setup itself. Like it, it's, it's a little bit, um, it's not really confusing. I'm not going to say it's confusing. When you look at the step-by-step, -step, I've got a guide that I created for Social Media Examiner. Um, that I'll actually be uh, sending out soon as a, like it's an article for them, but I'm going to be turning it into a workbook. Um, once you get it set up, you never have to do it again. Uh, I want to say right here and now though, when you, when you do this, remember to, there'll be an opportunity for you to type keywords about your flash briefing. Make sure that those keywords are spot on because they really work for searchability in Amazon, like the big Amazon. So if somebody goes over to Amazon and they search flash briefings for, like I know Susan's watching, she's a diversity coach. So if someone types in diversity, um, if she's typed that into her keywords, even if it's not in her title, although I would recommend that that be in the title of your of your um, of your briefing. To be honest, mine should say front row entrepreneur. Um, marketing tips or something that was kind of a like dumb on my part so definitely make sure and do that um if you don't remember anything else that i say because that searchability is uh, oh so important okay it's done uh, i got the notification and let me share my screen with you i've got the dreaded rainbow spinning wheel oh please don't crash mr computer. Um, let me close some of these windows. Aha. Okay. Um, oh my goodness. I wonder if I just closed out. Hold on one second. Let's go to Zencaster. Looks like I just closed that out, but no big whoop. Hey, Adam. Sim. Oops. Okay, let's go here. All right, and I'm going to download that final mix. There it is. It's done. It's downloaded. Now I am at Sound Up. Adam, who has just joined us, is one of the co-founders of this amazing uh, platform. And so now I'm going to, why does it say, where's my login? Here we go. Okay, now I'm going to click Add New, and I'm going to call it April 11th Flash Briefing. That's really just for me, I think. Uh, no one sees that. And you'll notice here it says Primary Feed. That's because you can have... Uh, more than one feed. I just have one. We're not going to worry about this blank. And then right here, I'm going to choose the file that we just downloaded. Um, it's called, there it is. All right. And I'm going to make sure and put the correct date. Today is April the 11th, 2018. Click Save New. And... Let me close this little box out. All right, you can't see, but in the lower left-hand corner, it's showing me the status. It's done. It's uploaded. That's it. We're done. If you go to your Alexa app, if you are already subscribed to 
the front row entrepreneur flash briefing, which you should be, you should have actually signed up while we were talking. Um, and if you, let me come back to you. If you go to your Alexa right now and say, Alexa, play my flash briefing, um, you will hear what we just recorded and that's it. So you see how easy that is. And also, uh, um, one thing that is, God, I cannot believe how bad this light is. Hold on. I just can't stand it. That's too bright. I mean, I just need a grown-up ladies studio. I just, really, I don't need this kid business. I am, in case the universe is listening. Okay, whatever. Um, Oh, so one thing I want to do, which I think is something so doable for everybody, and SoundUp is, I think, the only platform that allows you to do this, but you can upload, um, you can upload a hundred in advance and have them schedule out for a hundred days down the road. And of course, that can be one and two minutes each. So based on how we just, like what you just saw with Zencaster. Um, one of the things on my to-do list is to record 52 marketing tips for every week of the year. And what I'm going to do is I am going to uh, spend about two half days, and I'm just going to click the record button, just like you saw, and say, here's my marketing tip, marketing tip today. Make sure that you have a great Facebook profile picture. La, la, la. It'll be like one minute, and then I'll plug whatever thing I'm plugging, is how I'll close it out to make sure people can find me, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And then I'll schedule it for Wednesday. And oh, the title of that episode that I just did, can I edit it? The title is attached to the Alexa info and will show on the Alexa app with your logo. I mean, the, t I, I, the, the title of the episode will. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah, so I'm going to schedule those out, and, and, and that should be really easy. Um, let's play my intro again, because if you joined late, I want everybody to see my intro. to hear the music again because I really do love Bollywood. Uh, Susan, that does not take long at all because I did that in iMovie with a template. They have, um, it's fantastic. In fact, the newest version of iMovie, I didn't realize it. They just did an update. God, do I love software updates, but they just did an update and, um, and there are these trailer templates. And so you can just, it literally shows you the storyboard and then you, you just drag in whatever you want. And honestly, half those GIFs that I put in there didn't even make sense. But I just, I was in a hurry, right? So I just uploaded all these GIFs and then I just dragged them in there. It was, could not be easier. So it didn't take long at all. Um, and also uh, another uh, tool I love for you doing um, bumpers is Filmora, which I think you know about from uh, my little course, but Filmora by Wondershare is a great little app that does really fun bumpers. And honestly, when I'm ready to do my for real bumper, um, I'm going to just contract it out on Fiverr and let somebody do it professionally. But but that was um, that was just fun. Okay, so um, I am, that's it. I just wanted to show you how to do a flash briefing. It's so super easy. 
make sure and set yours up. If you sign up with Sound Up Now, go to soundupnow.com um, and you use the um, coupon code Front Row, they give you some big discount. I don't know what the discount is. And thanks for letting me know about the title, Adam, and I will go in and edit it right now. Um, and I can't see that last comment. Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate it, Adam. Uh, you go make one over at iMovie. It, it's, you know, this, that's actually the kind of stuff that gets me off track. Like I should not be making fun little intros like that. Um, especially since I, I really have a lot, a lot of important things to do right now, like writing scripts and all that. But, um, but it's okay. The, you know, the, oh, I have to tell you the reason that I did it. I'm in Ecamm Live right now. But the reason that I, a great reason to do an intro like that is to buy yourself time. So, and it really wasn't enough time. I was scrambling. But typically when I start a live stream, I'll say, hey, you know, welcome. Give me just a second to share this out into my groups. But it's kind of lame and people, I don't, I don't know. I just, I fumble and I, it, it feels, um, it just feels a little bit unprofessional. So what happens is it allows you to, uh, buy yourself some time. So that's playing. Meanwhile, while that's playing, I've got my second uh, device, um, my laptop, and I'm sharing it into uh, other groups, into my, in my into my Facebook groups. But it really wasn't enough time because um, you have to give your, as soon as you go live on your laptop, I mean, your desktop, you need, you've got to refresh your other device so that you could see yourself live and then share it, um, share it out. And I really wanted to share it in more places than just those two groups, but I ran out of time. Uh, all right. So we just completely pulled the curtain way back today and, uh, all right. So now it's back to work and have a great rest of your day, you guys. Bye.